everyone. Just a couple months ago, our entire yard was surrounded by dandelions, which is not a bad thing because the pollinators need those first thing for the season. But I have always wanted to make my own dandelion root tea because I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. So I harvested a whole bunch and decided to save some of the tea for this soap, which I'm calling Pine and Dandy. So I'm hoping that you're feeling Pine and Dandy today too because we're headed to my kitchen to make some soap. In case you're wondering why I'm posting a summer video in the middle of winter, well, that's just how busy I've been <laughs> and finally getting to editing this video. So my fats are melted down and my lye solution are both just over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I did make dandelion root tea and then I froze it. I usually like to use a majority of ice cubes or frozen tea or frozen juice, something like that for my lye solution. It helps it get down to temperature much faster. So to make this dandelion root tea, I have a long tool. It's like a tap root tool that people use to get weeds out of their yard. And it has like a little sharp fork down at the end of it. So you can stick that right down along the tap root and snap it much further down in the ground. And it makes it easier to pull up a larger chunk. So that's what I use to harvest and get more for my money, I guess you could say. Because um, otherwise it's kind of a pain pulling up dandelions. <laughs> so what you want to do is rinse those off right away. Because if they dry with dirt on them, you're going to have dirt tea, which ain't going to be any good. So rinse them right away and then dehydrate them and then steep them just like you would any other tea. And that is how I made this dandelion root tea. And so, of course, I froze it into some cubes for this. And to go with this dandelion theme and, of course, the title Pine and Dandy, I used a blend of pine and cedarwood essential oils with just a little bit of vetiver. And I will say this is the most earthy smelling soap I have ever smelled or made. Almost smells like straight up dirt. Like it's it's strong. Um, <laughs> it's kind of an acquired taste, I would say. Some people are going to like it and some people are going to be like, you gross. So to each their own. But that's just what I wanted to try for this one to fit with the name. And the design I was going for was kind of a mix of things, really. I did an angle pour with this spirulina and green clay, but I did a slight bit of white batter. I first, so first I did an in-the-pot swirl with the green portion, and then I turned that into an angle pour, and then I did the yellow portion, which was yellow clay with some dandelion petals, and poured that over the top and did a hanger swirl to kind of mix them together. I It was just kind of a, a conglomeration of things, just wanted to try something different. And I think it turned out okay, but clay absorbs a lot of moisture and it can accelerate trace in a way. And so the green portion kind of started to get a little bit chunky when I was doing the hanger swirl. So there's some spots that look a little chunky and not a smooth swirl like I was hoping. So just something to keep in mind. Keep it a very light trace when you're working with that and try to get it in the mold as quickly as you can. I don't think I was moving fast enough here and I have the speed on one and a half X just to give you kind of a concept of how long this took me. For the botanicals on top, I used some rosemary needles to kind of represent like the dandelion leaves and then some dandelion petals. Now, one thing about harvesting dandelion petals, it's a little bit of a pain. You have to like pull all the petals out of the top of the flower, um, but that makes a really pretty little design on top. However, if you don't use them right away, they dry out and turn into fluff just like they would when they're going to seed outside. It was the wildest thing. I had harvested a whole bunch of dandelion petals and put them in a bowl, put them on my counter. And then the next morning I was planning on making lemon dandelion biscuits. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just leave them right there and I'll get to it in the morning. Well, the next morning it was a bowl of fluff. And I was quite surprised and disappointed because then I had to go through the whole work of harvesting them all over again. So just something to keep in mind. Maybe I'm the last one that knew that, but I was totally surprised by how it does that. Thankfully, I have two little helpers that love to go outside and pick me flowers. So they were more than happy to go out with a little basket and help me pick some more dandelions. And we made sure to leave enough for the bees. When I did cut this, I took it outside and cut it. And you always want to make sure when you have botanicals on top that you tip that portion to be kind of on the bottom side with your string cutter. So that way you're not dragging them through the soap and leaving like drag marks. 
and it was a little bit fluffy and messy to work with so I kind of had to clean off the string and my fingers between each bar but that's okay it, it turned out pretty good I think Thank you for joining me on this fun, soapy adventure today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to play some fun music for you, and maybe you're watching this in the dead of winter and want to enjoy some beautiful skies and sunshine and green grass that I am missing oh so much right now. Leave your troubles here no time to drift, just persevere No radio, or tiny screen So many ways, we hide on the scene Let go your pain, seek mystery Consider love, consider me And raise your voices, ooh Before the mast Around Cape Horn Round storms and whales A brutal sea Enchanted lands Sea legs and stars Help guide us past Remember joy Let go of fear Lose the hatred Don't despair And raise your voices Ooh. Uncharted shores, millennia, but who keeps score? The genie's out, the bedrock breaks, the mountain high, mountain chains, right on the walls, run through your town, scream from the roofs, scream out loud, and raise your voices. Just a ragged lullaby Just a ragged lullaby Just a ragged lullaby Raise the sails Lift your hearts Drift to sleep Become the voices making adventure thanks again for coming along and i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one soon